Oh my goodness, he alive? That's like the biggest plane belly I've ever seen. Oh gosh, that's a giant. That's a giant, get him Jay. Fish on, that's him, that's him, that's him. Oh my. Big Boss has a little bit more worm on there. Can she do it? Oh, he's already on there. He's already on there. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay, and we're here to do a little hike down to a waterfall where we're then gonna do a little bit of fishing. We packed light though, I got this backpack. And if you look back there, the <laughs> micro rods are making an appearance again. It was actually about this time last yeah. year when we came out here with the micro rods and uh, caught some pretty big fish. And we're hoping <laughs> to do some more of that today. We're honestly just hoping that there's actually some water down there. Yes. I don't know if the waterfall's gonna be running or not, but we haven't had very much rain, but there should be some water. And there should be some fish and that's all that is important in the bag we've got some little jigs we also have a bucket of worms which is probably what we're going to use first but uh to get down to the waterfall we first have to hike down this trail which is roughly a mile or so i don't know i don't know how far it is i think it's about that far yeah. but it's an easy hike down but coming back up it's kind of tough <laughs> you know especially after like fighting a bunch of fish which is yeah. hopefully what we're about to do yeah. but anyways we're gonna get after it. we're gonna make the hike down we're gonna crawl around on some rocks hopefully avoid some poison ivy and hopefully find some snakes along the way too That'd be fun. Hopefully, hopefully we'll see something cool. But anyways, if y'all are excited for today's adventure, do us a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and let's see what kind of fun we can get into today. Let's okay. go. We made it all the way down to the waterfall. There's a little bit of water falling. It's not a ton. It's not actually hitting the water, but we were looking down here. And if you look in the middle of your screen right there, that appears to be a rather large water snake. And I think that it's a plain belly. No, it looks like it. If it's a plain belly, it's a gigantic it is, one. It's huge. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch it or not, but I'm definitely about to give it a shot. Yeah. I think it's gonna be tough. I'm gonna go try to sneak up on it and try to grab it. Can do it it's huge. I'm gonna try to sneak up on that guy. There's also, I'm not sure if you can see out here in the water, right beyond the rock, if you look in the middle, there is actually some sunfish just sitting there chilling. I bet that plain belly is hoping that one of those guys swims in front of his face. But we're gonna try to grab that snake and then we're gonna start fishing. And we also see some fish right there. There's a fish right there. And I'm sure there's some over there underneath the waterfall, but I think we're gonna start fishing here in this little shade area. I think if I was to fish in this bowl, I would be right there okay i've got about 30 feet i've got to cover without i'm getting spooked i think the odds of me catching this thing probably like 15 percent i want him just to tuck back up underneath a rock it's definitely a snake he's definitely big i'm just gonna try to sneak up behind him oh it's huge it doesn't even look real Part of me wants to just dive on him. Doesn't even look really so big. Oh my goodness, he alive? That's like the biggest plane belly I've ever seen. Got him. Got him. Oh gosh, he's big. <laughs> yeah, baby, he was so slow. Oh my gosh, what a giant. Oh my gosh, he is striking. Oh my goodness. Gosh, this thing is enormous. Okay, I gotta say, I feel like I could have caught that one. You probably could. He, he was, was so, slow. so slow. He wants to bite me so bad right now. Look at this thing. He is so mad at you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me try to grab him by the head. Got him. <laughs> Didn't even bite me that time. Look at the size of this plant. Oh, there he yeah. is. They always get you like that. Every time. They always just turn and grab me like that. If you grab him from above, they can't get you as quickly but look at that thing he is massive absolutely massive i'm not sure if it's the biggest one i've ever caught but it's the biggest one i've caught in years so big just huge he's there's probably a few other snakes living out here but he's got all these fish to himself these fish are unsuspecting 
and he just has the opportunity to grab as many as he wants to out here, it seems like. The coloration on him, I don't, I don't know if you can really tell what it looks like, but down there, he has some crazy, like, blotching on the top of him. Aww. Look at his belly. Look at how vibrant that is. Super yellow. These guys we call yellow belly water snakes a lot of times also. These guys have my favorite scientific name, too, though. It's Nerodia erythrogaster flavigaster. Talk about a, uh, a tongue twister. <laughs> A lot of people think I'm making that up whenever I tell them that, but just so cool. He got me right there on the hand. He also musked me. I've got snake musk. I've got blood, but that's just the way we like it. We love, we love catching these snakes in these places like this, and um, maybe this is going to be a sign of what's to come. Maybe we'll catch some more, but hopefully we'll start catching some fish. <laughs> Look at that thing. He is so big. Look at Man, big I wish I would have caught it. I mean, he's got the physique of a diamondback water snake. Yeah, he you does. You guys know how much we love the diamondback water snakes, but he's... Three foot long, at least three foot long. Yes, take one last look at him at the release right where we caught him. Again, well, I'll take a snake bite for a catch like this any day. <laughs> it's so cool. And I'm all stinky now, but like I said, it's 100% worth it. We're gonna send him back right here. I think you can really see the colors on him too right here. You see that? Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, we're sending him back. Oh. This water is so clear. I know. There he goes. Under the rock. That's probably his house. You're probably around top there of his house. Oh, oh wow. sweet. There he goes. That looks so cool. That is the slowest water snake I've ever seen. <laughs> probably because he's got a full belly. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. All right. We caught our snake. We did our hike. We found our waterfall. Now let's start catching these fish. They're just, they're just out here looking at us like we're about to feed them. It's like they want to be fed by us. <laughs> let's do it. Okay, we're busting into the bag and get our fishing gear out. We got the two micro rods. Jay, last time you used the spinning rod, last time I used the push button. Which one do you want to use this time? Um, I mean, if you want to mix it up, I can use that one, but I would personally pick that one. You can use this one. <laughs> I also like using the little push button. I think it casts a little bit further. Oh. <laughs> but that one has more drag power if you hook into something big. The last time we were here, we actually caught some really big fish. If you want to check out that video, we'll leave it linked. We're not going to spoil it for what exactly we're chasing after today, unless you guys already know. But they do eat these guys. Got a fresh thing of worms. Let's see if we can make some magic happen. Everything eats worms. Yeah, these are the best worms I could find today. Usually, you know, we're able to dig our own up, but it's been so dry I had to buy some. I was at Academy and every bucket of worms in there was rotten and dried up. These were the only ones that were like slightly alive. So these are the ones we're going to use today. I had bait me a little piece up on this thing. Here you go, JJ. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna get right to it. We got the micro rods. These were $10. We got these last year and we haven't used them since last year either. And they've just been sitting, just tucked away in the corner. But I think they're still okay. I was pulling on the line to make sure it wouldn't just break instantly. These little fish are interested. I think that a lot of hikers come out here and they just feed them their trail mix. So they're probably used to that. Uh oh. First cast. Wow. First cast. My drag. My drag. I can't get him in. <laughs> this is real broken. We're gonna need some drag. We're gonna need some drag. Okay, I'm just gonna try to handline him a little bit. Here we go. We'll address it after we get this guy in. There we go. That shouldn't have been that hard to get this green sunfish in, but he went there and smoked it. I bet that plain belly water snake would like to eat this guy. Get him, JJ. Oh my God. There we go. Jay's got one daily doubles. Oh, oh yeah. Is that a bluegill? Yeah. There we go. Oh no. Can y'all twist it up? No, no, we're good. That's a good start right there. Yeah. A bluegill and a green sunfish. Not our ideal target species, but stuff we definitely anticipated catching today. Oh, yeah. I'll send him back. Okay, well, I just took the reel apart to try to get it fixed where I could fix this drag, and it literally won't spin back and forth either direction. So, um, the drag is loose. If we hook anything big, we're gonna have um, we're gonna have some issues, but we're gonna try to overcome it. Jay's still good, so that's all that matters. As long as one of us is good. So we can fire up some more of these little fish. He's looking at you. He, oh, he bit your. Oh, there we go. There was a bluegill or something smaller that bit your sinker, and that guy came out and oh, smoked really? it. Yeah, I saw the whole thing happen. This water is really pretty out here today. Oh, there we go. Hooked up. Hooked up. 
There we go. He didn't pull the drag. <laughs> Two daily doubles in a row? That's what I'm talking about. Two little tiny green sunfish. Yours is pretty average sized. This one here. Oh, it's oh, really oh. small. Here we go. Oh. That was a good trout release. He me. <laughs> a good trout release. Okay. Another one. Pulling the drag. <laughs> 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 that's so funny another green sunfish we're gonna fish in this spot a little bit longer then we're gonna start hiking around see if maybe there's some bigger ones hiding underneath the falls oh gotcha that's a nice bluegill i can't reel a bit <laughs> There we go. <laughs> what are you going to do if you hook into something big? I don't know what I'm going to do just yet. I might have to hand line him. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I'm trying to figure out a cheat code, like, like holding the line to where it has like some tension. But I don't know. It's going to be difficult. But that is another nice waterfall fish. Or This is our, I guess it's, we won't be still only caught bluegill and green sunfish. But that's our biggest one so far. Nice male. Guys, there's a beautiful long ear sunfish swimming in. I'm going to try to catch him. Oh, he's going to it. Oh, he, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, that giant green sunfish came and got it. Dang it. That long ear was coming to get it, and the green sunfish said, nope. Oh, he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. He's, oh, he, why is he getting scared? There's no way these fish should be getting scared. Oh, he smoked it. Good job, Jay. That is crazy. Is that a long ear? Nope. Another green sunfish. The thing was so aggressive. Yeah, they went nuts for it. It's like 20. That's like we're getting a new shade line. That wasn't there a minute ago, was it? No. Another nice green sunfish. I'm going to get back out there because I saw a ton of them out there. There's also a big, like, Ooh. megalodon looking. Sun oh, is it longer again? What's he doing? Oh, I scared him. No. That's the craziest thing. There's just a random, big, beautiful, longer sunfish that's swimming up on the surface over there. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. I'm under the tree. You still have the fish? Where are they at? In the shade. Oh gosh, that's a giant. That's a giant. Get him, Jay. <laughs> oh, baby. That's a hybrid. Oh, wow. Heck yeah. Do you have a fish on your line? Yeah, I do. I'm trying to reel them in, but oh, I'm, one, I'm more interested in looking at yours. <laughs> yeah, that's the biggest one of the day so far. Yeah, beautiful hybrid awesome. between a bluegill and green scent fish. Here we go. Oh, I have to like pull. There we go. <laughs> green sunfish, hybrid bluegill green sunfish. Two cool ones. <laughs> Ooh. I can't believe he didn't get smoked. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. A little guy. What a cool spot to catch fish. Look at, this, look at these rocks. <laughs> like, look where Jay is standing at right now. This and is an awesome place. Big old rock bluff down here in a waterfall catch some nice green sunnies but we know for a fact there are some big ones that live here nice we'll call you the the sunfish queen <laughs> oh, i got a bluegill entering the chat he's coming to look at it he's zooming oh he turned why did he swerve there he goes he thought he got oh it's a big it's a big long ear it's a giant long ear wow. it's a giant long ear i got my guy look at the colors on that thing stay on oh my god Wow, wow. Got him. That is what I wanted right there. This is not the waterfall. What the heck? That was a leaf. <laughs> that was scary. This is not the waterfall monster that we're after. But this is so beautiful. You're not going to catch anything prettier than that, guys. You're really not. Look at the colors. What you got? Nothing? No. Look at the colors on that thing. The blues. Look at the orange. You're not going to catch a prettier fish in the world than that, in my opinion. You can go to any tropical reef you want to and try to find something that compares to a long-eared sunfish. And there are some things that definitely compare to it. Not gonna, not gonna be dumb about it, but I mean, look at that thing. That is so gorgeous. And we're gonna send him right back up in here. All right, as much as me and Big Boss would love to just sit here and catch these sunfish all day, we've got some big monsters in this waterfall that we're looking for. So we're gonna go over here to the spillway, or not spillway, to the actual waterfall. Um, there's gonna be some fresh water getting pumped in over there. 
and there's probably gonna be a bunch of sunfish over there also but we think that that's gonna be the most likely area for there to be a big one we thought there'd be one over here in the shade but we just didn't we didn't see any of them most time you can see them swimming okay here we are there's the waterfall and literally right here in front of us there's like a bluegill nest there's like five or six bluegill bedded up right here it's very strange looking you can see them probably right there just chilling i don't know if they're gonna eat my stuff or not oh wow, he took off of my that's crazy you got him <laughs> nice it looked like he took off of my bobber but... it looked like he ate the worm and the bobber at the same time he engulfed everything down i was trying to throw out in the middle that might be where the big ones are at that makes sense but i can't cast that far <laughs> Let me get back to these guys. There's a whole... Look at this nest of fish right here, Jay. Got you. Stay on there. There we go. First fish under the waterfall. Another green sunfish. I saw a couple of big long ears over there, too. Still not seeing our big fish. It's got me a little bit concerned. I know. What about you? I'm a little concerned. I'm a little concerned. Normally that we... That one's beautiful, though. Any? I know, a beautiful orange fin. It's got some good blue on him. But normally, by this point, you start seeing the big guys that live down here. And we just have not seen any of that yet. Usually just a combination of our baits being in the water. And then, like, all the commotion of the fish splashing around is what draws them in. They might not exist here anymore. All right, it's getting hot out here. The bite's still pretty hot. So, I think I'm going to cool off under the waterfall and try to catch a fish. Hopefully I won't slip and fall. I think you'll be fine. <laughs> it's very slippery over there. I know that. Yeah, but I bet it feels really great underneath the waterfall. Oh, yeah. It's not as hot today as it has been here in Arkansas, but it's still pretty warm. All right, you're under the waterfall. <laughs> oh, they're coming. You got him. 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 First cast. You did it. You know what kind of fish you caught? Uh, I caught a green sunfish. Green sunfish. Can you see it? Yep, I can see it's it. It's not that big. But it still counts. First fish under the waterfall. On my first cast. We are under the waterfall. <laughs> Can't she get another one? There he is. Oh no. Oh yes. It's a big one. Let's see it, big boss. Oh, another hybrid. That thing is beautiful. I can't see this. <laughs> That's a big one. There's so much water in my eyes. You... <laughs> nice one, Jay. This is the way to do it. This is the way to waterfall fish. Woo! Oh, yeah. Easy money. Nice one, Jay. That's a good one. <laughs> no, nice green sunfish. This is if, fun. if only we can catch our monster fish under here. Yeah, that would be epic. Big Boss has a little bit more worm on there. Can she do it? Oh, he's already on there. Oh he's already on there. The bite is hot under the waterfall. <laughs> they can't sense you up underneath the waterfall. In stealth mode. Pretty Some green, Cindy. can hear me so loud. Nice. <laughs> All right, we're leaving the waterfall hole as much as we don't want to. We're gonna hike around over that way because most of the time when we caught the big ones, they've been over on that side of the pool. Maybe for some reason that's where they're hanging out today. We thought we would catch them right here, but it just didn't happen. So if it's gonna happen, it's gonna have to happen over there. We caught a lot of fish, but we're starting to run out of time down here. And Big Boss is ready to catch a big one. I can just tell. We gotta do some hiking first. Jay, do you think there's actually still some monsters living down here below this waterfall? I really don't know. I'm hope 
hopeful there's at least one. <laughs> <laughs> there should be at least one, but we haven't seen any yet. That's just crazy to me. Yeah, usually it's the first thing you see because they're just so like, I mean, you just see them. They're just right there in, right there in your face. And yeah, we're gonna try this big rock right here. Psych. Gotcha. Gotcha. What are you? He's a hard fighter. It's another big bluegill. Look at that thing. Yeah. Look at that one. He's, well, he's not that big. I say he's big. He's not that big. But bigger than what we've been catching. We'll take it. Jay's got a rock. <laughs> this looks cool with the waterfall behind you, Jay. Oh, oh, you're about to catch one. Uh, there he is. Oh, got him. Is what is that? What is that? What is that thing? Oh, it's a green sunny. Damn. Dang. I thought it might have been our guy for a second. I know, he was fighting really hard. Still a good one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're hiking down to our last spot in this hole. We've covered the whole circumference of this thing. The spot we're going to is where we always usually start at. And usually always catch the big ones, so. Hopefully, it won't let us down today. You feeling lucky, Jay? Feeling lucky. Just feeling lucky. There's a haze on the water over here. You can't really see what's down there. I see a green sunfish. That's to be expected, though. I see a couple of them. We're going to post up here on our little lucky rock and see what happens. That feels big. <laughs> that feels not bad at all. That's oh, a big green sunfish. Get up here. I got my drag tightened up a little bit now. So whenever it starts pulling out, I get excited. Over on the lucky rock. And I think it's my biggest green sunfish of the day. Still not seeing our mystery fish. I'm beginning to think they may not exist in here anymore. Either they swam out of here during a flooding event, or maybe somebody came down here and, and caught them and kept them. I'm not sure. We're going to make a few more casts and see if we can't maybe get lucky. Another one. <laughs> when you throw it right up on the shallow rocks, they come out and smoke it every time. We've been making a lot of casts out in the middle. Trying to find a big one out there, but I just keep getting tempted to throw over there. That's another beautiful green sunfish. He's got some really bright scarlet fins. Look at those fins. Love when they have those white tips and that back fin's got that black spot. Such a beautiful fish. Out here below this beautiful waterfall. Don't get much better than that. Okay, we're gonna try one last thing. I've got the bobber set as deep as I think I can cast it. And we put a whole entire night crawler on there. And we're gonna send it out there into the middle. I got it set probably about four foot deep, maybe. It's over 10 feet deep out there, but if one of these fish comes out and senses it, he'll come up and get it, for sure. We're gonna give it just a minute. Oh, go. That didn't go very far. <laughs> oh man, micro rod problems. Let's try that again. I need a fly rod. I need to send it out there. Let's try it again. Ah. Fish on. That's him. That's him. That's him. Oh my god, it freaking worked. Oh, he broke it. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh no, it worked. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he broke the hook. Dang it. <laughs> How big is that? How big is that one? Did you get our guy? Oh, it's oh, I like that one though. That thing was spicy. He was all the way out there in the middle. You guys, we're trying hard to catch our big fish, but we are just running out of time and running out of bait. That's another pretty long-eared sunfish. I'm pretty sure I hooked up with one a little bit ago. And you blew it. I think so. <laughs> What's that fish doing? There he is. Big boss in the house with another monster. I got a bite. I don't know what that is. 
He's not big. <laughs> Despite my drag noise, he's not big, but it's good for another daily double. We're trying to get the big ones. We're trying to get the baits out there down deep. These green sunnies are just ruthless. Oh, I got a good one. Doubles up on big ones. Got him. Got him on the blabber mouth. That feels decent. That's a big brown one. Get him. Got him. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Excited for today's adventure. We are down here on the banks of this lovely creek, and we're going to do some wade fishing today, try to catch some fish. But to mix things up today, we're going to be doing something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, honestly. I've honestly just been a little bit scared to do it. But uh, we're doing it today. So in this box, this is what I'm gonna be fishing with. And in here, I have an assortment of old vintage antique lures. They're all topwater lures. Uh, I didn't wanna throw any that go subsurface because I just didn't wanna lose them. Some of these are really old and some of them are potentially quite valuable. But they've been sitting um, just in a display case for a long time. And I was like, you know what? Let's give these guys a try. So let me show you guys some of these baits we got here. First one, we have an old tried and true devil's horse. And this one actually feels wooden. It's got a beautiful pattern on it. I think I'm honestly gonna start with that one. I haven't thrown a devil's horse in a very long time, um, but that, that one looks great. We've also got this little thing. It's just solid jet black and it's called a, it's called a Creek Chub Injured Minnow. That one looks good. I like the little double props on it and it looks more of the size profile that I'm looking for out here. Then we got this guy. It's called a blabbermouth. It's got a weird kind of popper shaped face and then a little torpedo, little blade tail on the back. Interesting for sure. And then talk about interesting, look at this one. That's called a crazy crawler. And that one there looks really old too. So they make new versions of all these baits for the most part, but you can tell these ones here are super vintage. Just got that crust on them. That was called a tiny crazy crawler. And it just kind of crawls on top of the surface. It's really weird. Then we got two more here. This one here is a classic. Just your classic hula popper. It's just black, got a little floopy tail. Looks good, just a nice little chugging bait. And then to round things off, we got this guy here. This one here looks to be about in the best condition of all of these. I'm actually not sure how old this one is. This one might not be that old, but it's a Cotton Cordell Crazy Shad, kind of in that bullfrog color. So I think they're all gonna work. Um, my goal is to catch a fish on each and every one of these baits. We'll see if we can make that happen, but we're gonna start off by throwing the old devil's horse. So I'm out here with my buddy Dakota. He's behind the camera. He's been not fishing these creeks recently. Been catching some on top water. So that's kind of what gave me the idea to throw these out here today. Be sure to check out his YouTube channel, Real Wild Adventures. I'll leave a link in the video description. And let's get out here and start waiting around and see what we can get into today. I'm really excited. Hopefully we catch the big ones on these antique lures. All right, guys, really excited about this. Got the old devil's horse on here. I like that it's got three treble hooks on there. Dakota's also throwing a little chopping style, a little bait. His is a more modern version. They have a very similar action. Look at that. It's gonna be old school versus nude school today. Oh, peacock bass. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we're fishing peacock bass lures. That'd be fun. Man, we need to do that. I'd love to go fishing. <laughs> you see, we need to drive through the night get down to Miami and just go crazy and throw these things out there. I don't think anybody actually throws these baits for peacocks no. down there. Most like guys the throw, well, no, a lot of people throw, but yeah, a lot of people throw jerk baits though. Jerk baits, shiners. Yeah, jerk baits. That's what we need to do. Gosh, that's what I want. I don't even want to go, let's go, let's leave. Let's go peacock, let's go peacock bass fishing, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that looks good. That looks good. I've kind of been sleeping on the devil's horse. I don't throw this style of lure often, but it, that's a good little that's a good little action for these creeks guys look at this river bed or this creek bed it is just crazy it's crazy beautiful a lot of big chunky rocks it's super low right now because we're in the middle of summer almost i think actually at the tail end of summer but you come here in the springtime this is like some dang white water you can mess yourself up here kayaking but definitely plan on coming back out here in the springtime i've been wanting to i just haven't but it's just it's incredible Big rocks everywhere. And the fishing is usually better when the water's up too, just because there's more pools, there's more backwater eddies. But we're gonna find some up here. 
some of the better pools are up here upstream. Here's a nice little pool right here, though. Oh, we got a oh, oh, Dakota had a chaser. The thing about these pools is that they get concentrated, so you can kind of predict when you're going to catch them. Okay, so an issue that I've been running into with this devil's horse is I'm using 10 pound braid and it's kind of light, but it's getting stuck in the prop like almost every cast and kind of messing up the action. So really what I want to do now is I just want to catch something with it and then I'm going to try to maybe swap to another one. Maybe one that doesn't have a prop blade on the front of it. Maybe go to that, uh, that hula popper or maybe go to that crazy crawler. But um, I've had a little bit of interest in this thing so far. But we um, might need to keep walking and find ourselves a little better stretch. This looks good though. I'm not going to give up on a devil's horse until I catch something with it for sure. It's a good one. Unfortunately, my camera. Oh, I got a good one. Oh, oh, oh double. Doubles up on big ones. I got a big one. Big one on the devil's horse. Finally got one. This is not small. This one is not small. Dakota's doubled up too. Hers is bigger. I think mine's bigger, dude. I think so. I got a good one. Oh, get out of those rocks. Oh, stay on there. Stay on there. Finally oh, got one. Donkey smally, bro. That is a donkey smally. That's a really nice one for out here. That is a monster for out here, bro. Stay on there. I'm just going to bump with them on the bank. Yeah. Got him. Let's go. That's what's up, guys. We've waited almost probably half a mile up this creek to find some good water. We hit a couple pools we thought were going to be good, but we just doubled up right here in this one. That's a donkey for this spot. It's like a 16 incher. Dude, that's a good one. And that's a good one, too. Let me see that thing. Pretty, guys. That is beautiful. Awesome fish, dude. Again, look at the size of that small bass. Just a long, lean river fish or creek fish, and he smoked that vintage devil source. And I'm so glad because I'm ready to take it off because that line getting sent that prop every cast has just been driving me insane. Um, you know, it's kind of counterintuitive to take off a lure you just caught a big fish on, but I think we're going to swap it up to another antique lure and see if we can't find ourselves some more. We'll swap back to it if we don't catch anything else, but beautiful river smallie. I'm going to get him unhooked and we're going to release him. All right, last look at our smallie. He gone. Oh! Gave us a little dorsal fin action. I like Saw that. that. I like Sharky. that. All right, let's swap it to another lure and let's get back out there and see if we can catch some more. All right, Devil's Horse, you've been good to me, but not that good to me. <laughs> been throwing it for a while i think that it would work um if i had maybe a stronger uh, maybe like a monofilament leader on there or maybe had some bobber stops on the line to keep the line from getting stuck in there this line is just so limp that it just gets stuck in the blade every single cast and it just doesn't instill a lot of confidence in me when the bait's not performing the way that it's supposed to we're actually going to try this guy i have no idea if this thing is going to swim right i have never thrown any of these lures so i don't know if the action is good on any of them just they've been sitting for for years and years but that's the crazy crawler and what i like about the crazy crawler right now is that there are a bunch of cicadas out and this really mimics cicadas so there is some line on here it ain't my line somebody's thrown it sometime recently or maybe not that line looks kind of old but we'll rig it up hopefully it'll give some good action but that right there as long as it does what it's supposed to do should catch fish it doesn't look like it's doing anything <laughs> That might not work. I'm gonna have to pop it. I don't know about that one, guys. That one might actually not work. It's not It's not doing crazy crawler things. We'll throw it a few times across and see if we can get one just to just bite it on impact. But, but we're in this really good looking pool and I don't wanna waste this spot with a lure that's not swimming right. Cause it is not swimming right. So I've been cycling through those antique lures and I really wasn't considering that my line was going to get caught up in the props and all those guys. And, um, but this guy right here should be a different story. It only has one prop on the back. It's got this kind of plopper, not plopper, a little popper mouth. So we're going to try it out. It's not really too big. Looks pretty decent. We'll test the action here in a second. We're getting to another nice pool. Go says this is his favorite spot. There's a big giant rock up there. It looks awesome. Got a little bit of flow. 
the creek is very low. If we had just like a foot of water, it would be so good, I think. Yeah. What, what are the way, Dover Bridge? Yeah, not Dover Bridge, there's another. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull up, up there. Got him, got him on the blabber mouth. That feels decent. It decent. He's all the way out there. He's got, there's a lot of shine right there with that thing. He is all the way at the end of my cast. Let's go. Ooh. Dakota had one, there's one chasing him. That's a nice one. I don't know, he might be bigger than the first one I caught. Look at him. He does look nice. Look at that thing, thing is beautiful out there. A big one. He's fine like a big one. <laughs> this rod's a little bit lighter than the one I normally throw. He's got one hook in him. I'd rather have that one end hook than the middle hook. I guess so. These are some stout hooks too. Keep them out of the rocks. Dude, that's a big one. That's a big and fatty too. Get up here, just get up here. Yeah! He looks just like the other one, just a little bit thicker. A little bit thicker. All right, second smallie of the day for me. We've walked a long way. The fishing has been a little bit tough, but the water's lower than we anticipated. Um, but we got to this nice pool right here. This might actually be the last pool we come to, but look at that smallie. He's a little bit smaller than the one I caught earlier as far as length goes. He's probably about 14 and a half or so. He's a little bit thicker and he fought really good. He bit at the very end of my cast. It was like a 50 yard cast, so it was a lot of fun. Reeling him in and watching him fight in that clear water. But look at that bait. Look at that thing, the blabbermouth. Blabbermouth did him dirty. It's like, uh, it kind of reminds me of a tiny torpedo, except for it's got that kind of weird shaped mouth, but he was all about it. I've had a couple bites on it in this pool. So hopefully we'll catch some more and maybe we'll catch some more on, on the way down. I think that's the band I'm gonna stick with for the rest of the afternoon. Sweet, let's send him back. All right, big guy. There he goes. Yeah. There it is, nice one, dude. Oh, bad. <laughs> nice fish, Dakota. Pretty. On the pomper. Calm down there. That's a good one. I'll take that all day. Absolutely. Wish we were getting more, but we'll take what we can get. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. I was like, where did my bait go? I got a good one too. He just slurped it. I got a good one. I got a chunk. I'm up here on top of this rock. He's gonna come over the shells. Come over the shell bar. He didn't even splash it, dude. Mine didn't either. My popper was just gone. It's a big one. Yeah. On the old blabber mouth. There's my third smallie, my second one on the blabber mouth. This is my uh, my smallest one of the day, but still a quality fish. And this is really what you're looking for out here in the creek. Catch some 12 inches and 14 inches, and then hopefully leave with, you know, a, a 16, 17. And if you're really lucky, catch an 18 inch. He got the thing so good. He bit it as soon as he hit the water. Didn't even splash it. He's got that back hook. And man, these hooks are they're not that sharp, honestly. But when they hook the fish, it seems like they stay in there. Goodness. There we go. I mean, how big is that barb? Look at that hook. That's a hook right there. <laughs> Might be too much hook for these smallies, but I'll take it. We didn't lose them. We got them in. It's just so beautiful out here. This pool is awesome. We got these big giant rocks. We got a nice shoal. We got a bluff over here. It's just crazy. Like. Most of the time when I'm fishing, it's all about catching the fish. And then, you know, the, the scenery is the bonus, but really like the fish are a bonus in this spot. We're gonna send him back. And there he goes. So we catch a couple more. I like this rock that I'm standing on. I want to get on that rock. That rock looks epic. Does he have any buddies over there? And that fish literally just, he just sucked it straight down. So those bait sits booty down in the water. Like it's literally just vertical. So I guess it, I remember seeing it splash when it hit and I was like, ooh, that was kind of loud. And then Dakota hooked one and I looked out there and then my thing was just gone. So it's kind of weird, but I'll take it. Uh-oh, get it, get it, get it. Oh gosh, oh, I do got him. That is a stud. That is a stud. Dud. He came after that thing like five times. They love the blabber mouth. Oh, there's one following. Dude, there's two following him. Can you get behind my bait right there? Twitch it. He's not as big as I thought he was. Is he green? No, he's brown. Yeah, another good one. I feel bad I pulled those buddies out. There was like four chasing him. All right, another one for team blabber mouth. That bait is so cool looking. The action, I don't really like it. I still don't like it, but the fish are eating it. Definitely my best option today. That smallie went after that bait at least three times, and it might've been different fish, but he's the one that ended up getting it. I think there actually might've been a bigger one down there chasing it, but we're gonna send him back off this rock. So cool, I'm going back in. 
Going back in. That was number four. Yeah. Number four. Okay, let me get my hooks situated. My hooks jacked up. About ten feet behind your popper. I'm gonna go get him. He's behind my popper. All right, guys, we got a snake. I saw a snake. I don't know where he went. Did he just go underneath the rocks? No, I see him. He's right in front of you. Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him. I see him. Get him. Got him. We got a snake. Get him, Dakota. Did he do it? Oh, no. I got mine. <laughs> He's beautiful. Oh gosh. Ow, he bit me. Good job, dude. You stepped on that one that I was looking at. We're looking at two different snakes. Well, I, I was looking right there and I didn't see him anymore and I saw this one take off. Too. Guys, you know it's not a creek fishing adventure without catching a snake and getting bit by it. This is a gorgeous Midland water snake. This is usually the predominant species you find up here in these mountain creeks. They like this a little bit cooler moving water. There was actually two of them. We I saw one was going towards it and I couldn't see it anymore. And then I saw this one and there ended up being two and I stepped right over the one I was looking at. But look how gorgeous that one is. And I think I, think I got the prettier one of the two. He's got that really nice kind of reddish orange uh, coloration. Sometimes when you find these guys, they're more just kind of dark brown, but he's he's got some really pretty colors. Like those, those vertical stripes, brick red. Look at his tummy. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that thing. And so these Midlands, they can get up to about four foot long. This thing is probably two and a half foot long but they are just so cool and one of my favorites to catch. They are just gorgeous. Non-venomous species, you know, like all the other water snakes out here, they're gonna bite you if you grab them like quick. And uh, they have that anticoagulant in their saliva, which makes you bleed a bit. You can see he got me on the finger right there. It's not a great spot to get bit, get bit but it was worth it to catch him. We're gonna uh, get a couple pics with him and then we're gonna send him back here in the creek and keep walking downstream and hopefully catch a couple more smallies before it's all said and done. Looks like a dang crime scene up here. That snake got us good. I had Dakota hold him so I can get some shots of him. And got Dakota on the finger also. What a feisty guy. <laughs> okay, so we got this pool right here in front of us. There's another pool beyond that. It's a couple of high percentage areas. We're gonna try to catch a couple smallies. We walked all the way from there. Hopefully we can get at least two more. Maybe three more. Four. Four more. Four more. And you can't keep anything between that. You can keep like a 10 or 11 incher and you can keep one 16 pluser. That'd be good. That'd be fair. Two fish. No, you can keep. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, baby. That's a, that might be the one I caught. Out here that last is a time stud. Here. That's gonna be the same one I caught out here last time. Out here. Is he brown or green? He's just he's just head rolling, dude. That's a big one. He, he's brown, dude. He looks. That's gonna be the one I caught out here last time. I think. Uh, that's oh, a big brown one. Big brown, yep. Big brown one. I'm just gonna follow him up here. He's got that bait good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is a stud. It's so hard to get up after the shallow water. He's got that bait good. Yes. Yep, yes. Nice oh, he's off. Oh, oh. Guys, you can't script this any better. Look at that smallmouth. That's the biggest one of the day. We have this pool left. There's one other little one after that, and we're going to be done. We were really hoping to hook up with a big one out here today. And uh, Dakota was saying, you know, we probably will catch some on the way down. Um, it's nice place we hit earlier. I was on that devil's horse. I've got a lot more confidence in that bed. I forgot what it's called now. I think blabbermouth, the blabbermouth. And uh, I threw it right behind me into this nice root ball and he came out and just absolutely crushed it. That's probably like a 17 incher, probably two and a quarter pounder, maybe two and a half pounds. I don't know, that is an excellent fish for this creek. They, they don't get very big out here like that. That's the king of this creek right here, guys. Beautiful colors. Not a blemish on him, fought really good, and luckily we were able to get him on the bank. That is so, so cool. Okay, we're gonna snag a couple pics of this thing and we're gonna send her on her way. Got you by the tail, Men's tail is so thick. Oh, she's so big. Where's she gonna go? She's going between my legs. It's good! <laughs> yeah, she dude. She's literally going right back to her root ball. That is awesome. I'd say that's gonna be the last fish of the day, but there's still a chance we can catch another one. But if we don't catch any more, like, that's a dang good one to end on. But we might catch another one. We'll see. What you find? Oh, oh, I, oh, you got him? You got him. <laughs> Dakota got revenge, got redemption. Yeah. They're coming in pairs today. They are coming in pairs. That is cool. Two little baby Midlands. 
And they were under the same rock, huh? Yep, I saw one go under and then uh, just one took off in front of me. So I grabbed him, flipped the rock and grabbed his buddy. Those guys are cute. They are totally different color patterns too. Is that fish? Yes, I saw oh, that thing what? swirl up on it. Jay's on. Woo! Don't lose him. Don't lose him. First blood belongs to Jad. I swear. I, I don't know. He's jumping. We got to see what lives in this spot. Oh, it's largies. There's some largies here. Oh, oh, don't let him smack you. All right. Well, that did not take long at all. We literally. This was, I think, maybe my second or third cast, mm -hmm. and we've already got a fish. So that's that's exciting. Yep, and it's a nice little large mouth, not a monster, but I have a feeling there's going to be some bigger ones here oh, to catch, yeah. and hopefully we'll run into some smallies or some spotted bass. Maybe we can get the uh, the the bass slam out here in this <laughs> creek today. But he smashed this little jerk, jerk bait, bait right here. Jay always does a lot of good work with that jerk bait in these small creeks, and it's just a great option to throw because, like I said, these fish are mainly feeding on little minnows and crawfish. So we usually start with a little jerk bait like that. Sweet. Let's get back in the water and let's get back after it. See ya, fishy. He got off there quick. <laughs> let's get some more. <laughs> oh, I had one. Bite it again. Oh. Oh, yes. I'm on the board. Gotcha. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Look at those gar. There's so many gar out there. Is that Smalley? What is that? It's largey. There we go. Right after Jay just released hers, I've got my first one of the day. Tiny little largemouth. That was so cool. And got him on the brand new Six Sense Juggle Man. Let me look at that, guys. Look at that tail action. Like I said, I've got this rigged up sauna nose hook. And I've got a little Nico weight pushed right here in the belly. And that allows this bait just to fall nice and slow horizontal. But this bait actually swims. It like rocks side to side. And that tail with that little ball right there on the end right there, it just causes it to just quiver just super seductively. And fish, as you can tell, in this inaugural fishing trip, can't resist it. It's just a super natural presentation. And it's great for these shallow, um, slow or fast moving streams. Well, my time with that <laughs> that juggle middle didn't last very long. I cast it up across the bank into a bush and I, I pulled it off on the nose hook and then I couldn't find it. So I have uh, since re-rigged up, which is a little four inch wacky worm right here. We're gonna toss it around. There's something in the water right here. What is this? Anyways, I'm gonna toss this little wacky worm around. Jay's still got the jerk bait tied on. And um, I may or may not run back to the car and try to find that bag of plastics because they are not in my bag. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're hooked up. Hooked up, hooked up, hooked up, hooked up. I wasn't recording. We got, what is that? Oh my gosh, it's a big freaking smallie. Jay, it's a big smallie. Get up here, get up here. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that smallie. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys, what a treat to catch a really quality size smallie bass from this creek, like just right off the bat. We haven't gone 50 yards down the bank and we have so much more water to cover and that is just a really promising sign of what may come today out here on the river. What a nice fish. And he just absolutely clobbered that little weightless little wacky worm. I'd literally just tie that thing on and he swam to it before he even hit the water, I swear. So, so cool. Okay, let's get this guy back into the creek and let's keep on going. I'm really excited now. <laughs> All right, big guy. We'll see you. Go. <laughs> What's he doing? He's taking his time. Oh, there, he, oh, there, there he goes. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> he was confused for a second. I was like, is there something wrong? Like, we got that fish on the bank so quick. There he goes. He's back in his little pool. Awesome. That's awesome. Let's get some more. Okay, James. I don't know who you are, but I know where you were at. He was fishing the smallmouth hole. Maybe he caught that fish, Jay, and released it for us to catch. Or maybe he was just enjoying his time here. It's a really beautiful spot. There's some good looking ripples down there. Hey, you got something? You got something. You got something on there. I was like, I was like, something, I was like, something weird's happening with Jay's bait. There we go. 
Third species of the day, the old trusty green sunfish. So pretty. If you can't catch one of these in a creek or river, then there's just no fish there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> you should just go home. That's a nice one though. Just kind of a little average sized guy. We might catch some bigger ones than that, you never know, but definitely a welcome sight. Oh yeah, it's so more, pretty. It's more fun to catch one of those on a cast than nothing at all. Right. Bye. See ya. I saw a bigger swirl out there. I don't know if that was him. I mean, green sunfish can be pretty dang aggressive. But I feel like there was a bigger fish hanging out there with him. Just hard to say. Oh, I got a fish. Is that another species? Looky there. Rack it up the species. Here's our fourth species of the day. Another welcome sight in any creek and river that we fish. A beautiful long-eared sunfish and he had quite the appetite because this worm is literally the same length if not longer hey, he's a little bit shorter but basically the same length as that fish he meant business you see that drum oh digging 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 that's a big one that's a big one jay that's a big one that's a big bass or something is that a catfish oh my gosh it's a big fish it's a massive bass that's smally oh my gosh it's a massive smallmouth I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. That's a massive smallie. It's fighting so hard. It's a massive smallie. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? Flip that thing. Dude, that is a monster smallie. Yeah, baby, that oh is God. awesome. I was just saying, I was seeing a dark blob swimming around out there and I thought it was a drum, <laughs> but it might've been this guy. Look at the head on that sucker. Like that is an old yeah. river fish right there. He's he so long. Yeah, he smashed that jerk bait. Just watching him just fight in circles. I saw him, you were like, I got when I saw the flash and I was like, oh my gosh, that thing is massive. He was fighting really hard too. He put up a good fight. Now this is exactly why you go out and explore new creeks and rivers because you just never know. Like I've seen this spot before on a map. I was like, it looks pretty good. <laughs> and we got here, it's kind of low, but that doesn't matter. These big guys are out here just chomping. Woo! So cool, we got largest and smallies. Is there any spotted bass out here? Ooh, I, I don't know. know. Like when that fish was rolling, I thought you had a catfish for a second. And I was like, that's a catfish, but it was a giant smallie. I am so stoked right now. It's such a cool fish. All right, one last look at our fish before we send him back. Oh my goodness. If I don't catch another fish today, then I'm okay. Cause this is, this was good enough for me. I have a good feeling you're gonna catch more fish today. What a beautiful fish. All right, send him. What's he gonna do? Wanna go that way? Wanna go that way? He said, I don't know, I like you. You're cute. You I can like just you. hold me all day. He thinks you're cute, Jay. Oh. He said, you ain't that cute. <laughs> hey. Woo! That was sick. Oh my gosh. Snake, 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 snake. I got him. Let's go. Woohoo. This place has got snakes too. <laughs> Oh, he just jumped out of the tree. Woo, all right, check that out. We've got our first water snake of the day, and it is a gorgeous little Midland water snake. It's a little grumpy. He's got some really cool colors. A lot of the recent ones we've been catching have had more of that reddish coloration. This yeah. guy is like purely brown, even his belly. You'll see his he's got those pretty. cool brown markings. He's a little agitated. You can tell he's got himself flattened out. You can see his head. When they flatten it out, it's kind of arrow shaped. It kind of makes them look like they're venomous, but this is a non-venomous water snake species. And I'm surprised he hasn't actually struck at me yet. He's just kind of chilling. He's interested in the camera, flickering his tongue a little bit. That is really cool. So like I said, this is the Midland water snake. This is a subspecies of the Northern water snake, which y'all might have in your region if you're a little bit north of us in Arkansas. But yeah, really cool snake. Definitely expected to see one of these out here today. Maybe we'll find some more, I don't know, but that's a, oh! Oh gosh, there he is, there he is, oh, no. there he is. There he is, easy guy. I was about to say, it's a really nice find, but he's a little, like I say, he's a little grumpy. We're gonna go on ahead and send this guy back and we're gonna get back to fishing. My mind is like all dialed up on some big smallies now that we've caught two good ones. <laughs> really cool snake. If we see any more, we'll definitely catch him and show y'all. Ready to go, big dog? Ooh. I think he oh, went, gosh. oh, he went between your legs. Oh, that felt weird. There he goes. <laughs> That's where he was going, so he knew what he was doing. Awesome, we got some big smallies and we got our first blood uh, of the day. It'll be all right, we'll wash it off in the creek. Okay, so we did make another pit stop back up here at the car to grab the pack of juggle minnows that I left behind. Here's the color I was throwing, that minnow juice. And I know I've done pretty good on the little whacking worm, but I really feel like 
this is the bait that's gonna get the job done today. And I really just wanted to test it out for the first time and see what we catch on them. So I'll show you guys how I'm rigging it. Rigging it on that same little wacky hook right there. I think it's actually a Nico slash wacky hybrid style hook, but I'm just nose hooking it just like this. Okay, I might could honestly use a one size bigger hook, but that should be fine. And then what I'm doing is I'm reaching in here, grabbing myself out a little Nico weight, and I'm just shoving it right here into the middle of the belly just to give it a little bit of weight. I think it'd be fine without it, but I really want it just to sink horizontally, nice and slow, get that rocking action down in the water. But that's really simple. That's it right there. We're gonna get back down to the creek so we can catch some more smallies. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. That's a good one. Good one. Skip it underneath the tree. Is it a smallie? It is a smallie. He's a humpback looking dude. I knew that, that juggle minnow would catch him. I skipped it underneath that branch and I threw it in there a couple times actually. I kept seeing this fish acting weird about it. And I guess it was this guy, but look at that. He's got some weird scoliosis going on with his back, but that is a fine little river specimen. Let's give him a hook. He's hooked perfectly right in the roof of the mouth. I love this little no hook system. If you can get a, if you can get away with it, and you know fishing around like you know moderate cover, and that's a great way to rig a little small fluke style bait like that. Nice fish. We'll see you. Woo. There's one. Gotcha. Is that a bass? I don't think so. He looks kind of yellow, doesn't he? Yeah. I was about to say we better catch the thing in this little ditch. Yellow. Look at that. Good sized green sunfish. Got some bright orange fins. Cool fish. Fish, 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 fish. You guys got a good one, it looks like. That ain't no green sun fish. Or is it? Sure? <laughs> it is. But it's oh a big one. Oh my gosh. We didn't found us a green sun fish hole. <laughs> is that your second green sun fish of the day? I think so, yeah. He's bigger than your last one by like three times. That's I a good like fish. Him. I like him. I love him. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, goodness. That, that wasn't very graceful. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. You got him, JJ. Looks like a nice smallie. In the belly? Oh, nope, it's a green one. It's a green one. In the belly? I think he's, yeah, he's side hooked in a little bit. He swiped at that thing. Oh, gosh. Here we go. All right, well, that is my second largemouth of the day and my first one in this new spot. Uh, he's not super big, but he's not bad. Yeah, not a bad <laughs> creek fish whatsoever. And I like this spot a lot. It's a little bit deeper. It's yeah, not, there's not a whole lot of flowing water, but I think there's a riffle up ahead and we're yeah. excited to get up there and fish it, but that's a pretty guy. I'm gonna just be, happy to be catching fish. <laughs> yep, that'll be a big one one day. Oh yeah. Oh gosh! Feisty. Oh, okay. <laughs> you kind of just drug him in. You had him hook, you had him hook wacky rig style, so <laughs> yeah. he had a lot of energy left. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, right up next to this big dead tree. I knew there'd be a good one there. Not to fall in. That's a good large mouth right there. Stay on there. Come on up. Let's go. So if you take a look right behind me, we got this huge lay down tree right here covering up half of the creek. It's where Jay just caught hers on the on the jerk bait. I skipped that juggle minnow right up next to the edge of it, let it just fall real slow, and this guy gobbled it up. That's a pretty nice large mouth. We've seen some big larges in the creek today that are probably like two or three times bigger than this one. But I think that's my biggest one I've caught so far. Really cool fish. And again, little six inch juggle minnow doing them dirty. <laughs> Let them go. Woo! Fun Good times. Job. What's that? Oh, I got one. Look at that tie. Is that spot? It's a spotted bass. We did it. We did it. He may be four inches long, but we did it. Look at there. That 
is our fifth or sixth species of the day and that completes our bass slam. Spotted bass do live here. He's so tiny. How did he even get that thing? That's cool. That's cool, I didn't know I had him. Fish on! Is that a bass? I think so. Looks like a bass. Whoa. Looks like you wacky rigged him again. Oh, I did. Nice it's little small. Mouth. All right, there is another small mouth. Definitely my smallest of the day, but that's okay. I have hope that we're gonna catch another big one. So we're gonna send this guy back and we're gonna keep exploring the creek. Oh, gosh. You know, we haven't had very many graceful releases today. I'm not doing good today. <laughs> Fish on, fish on, not a bad one. Not a bad one. Swapped it up on him too. Is that a smallie? Oh, we got doubles. We got doubles. Oh, I lost my worm. I gotta get my worm back. Woohoo! What you got? Let me get my worm back. Looky there, guys. We've got our first daily double of the day. Got a decent sized smallie here. She's got a tiny little large mouth. Tiny little large mouth. She caught hers on the jerk bait again and I actually swapped back to the old uh, four inch mess worm but I stuck that nail wet I had in the juggle minnow and there made it an eco rig because we're fishing a little bit deeper water. Epic double release. <laughs> nice. Guys look how cool these rock formations are out here in this part of the creek. There's one last little river right there I want to check out before we start walking back. Jay's already started walking back. I'm going to try to catch one more fish off these rocks. It just looks way too fishy to pass up. I told her I'd be extra quick. That's just the pure angler in me. I just, <laughs> I can't leave a spot that looks really good like this behind without at least making a couple of casts at it. And that's why. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. There's an even bigger one with him too. Get up here. Yes. Oh, I knew it looked good guys. That is not a bad smallmouth bass. <sighs> Ain't that little Nico rig worm? It's just really cool getting to come out here and explore this new area that we've never fished before and uh, actually catch some good fish out of it. This is not a monster, but we've caught some nice ones today and we've caught all three bass species, which I think is just really, really cool. I'll see you. Big one. Oh, Big one. Big baby mama. Big baby mama coming in. There it is, buddy. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> he's gonna jump in the boat. Y'all already know it's gonna be a good day. We're out here on the river with my buddy, David. And this buddy. is no ordinary, I call him buddy. He don't like when I call him buddy. I don't like when he calls him buddy. Nobody likes to be called buddy. Let's just get that out of the way. But I'm here with my friend. You just started a debate. I'm here with my friend, David, and we're here on the mighty White River up here in North Arkansas, up here deep in the Ozarks. And guys, this place is a zoo. I can see with my eyeballs right now about 15 boats that way. And that's or, not even the good stuff. The good stuff's up there. And there's probably another 15, but we're gonna get amongst the crowd and try to wrangle us up some trout today. Um, this is a great time of year, respectfully. We're gonna respectfully try to wrangle them up. Um, hopefully we catch some big browns or some medium sized browns. I haven't caught any good brown trout yet this year. Uh, we can neither. catch some good rainbows. There's, there's brook trout. Is there any cutthroats out here? Seven. There's seven cutthroats, so maybe we can get lucky and catch a catch a cutthroat. But we're gonna throw a couple of different lures today. We're gonna start off throwing probably some D2 jigs. You've been seeing us throw this thing a lot recently on the channel. I got one right here. It's this little fuzzy hair jig. We'll touch more on it here in a little bit, but that should be dynamite. If that doesn't work, then we'll swap. Magnet? Hold on a second, hold on a second. If that doesn't work, we're gonna swap and throw a little trout magnet around, the OG, tried and true. And the things go really crazy. We're just gonna go crappie fishing and throw a crappie magnet, put some sand in there. Just no, kidding, man. we're not gonna do that. But um, we're gonna do our best to wrangle us up some good fish today. I think we're gonna be able to do it. This place is legendary. There's lots of big fish to be caught here. I'm sure already 18,000 have been caught. So we're gonna try to put an even bigger dent in that this morning. So if y'all are excited left. for today's adventure and ready to get out here with us, do us a huge favor. Hit thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for good luck and let's see what we can put in the boat today. Let's go, man.
There it is, buddy. There it is. We're hooked up. First fish of the day. Feels slightly decent. He's got some got some head waggle to him. Do you need that net? He's got some shoulder to him. Hey, yeah, you got a net. Might be my personal best. Is that a walleye? It's a freaking walleye. We can eat it. It's a walleye. Oh my goodness. It's what? a big old walleye. Why are you catching walleye? Because I wanted to. Woo! Hey. Hey, Gordon Crispy. Golly, he inhaled it. I know thing. he did. Look at that thing. Guys, how about that for the first fish of the day? We came up here to trout fish, but the walleye are running too. And I definitely was not expecting to catch one like this for the first fish. We actually already floated down this once and we didn't really catch anything. We didn't We didn't catch anything. Uh, we went through it really fast. We got up here in a little bit of backwater and first fish is a beautiful White River walleye and he inhaled that D2 jig. I knew it felt kind of weird. I was thinking it might, have, it might have been a big brown trout, but nah, it's a different kind of brown fish. That is awesome. He looks like he's been through some stuff. He might be spawning, his tail's kind of red. That's awesome. All right. All right, we just snagged some cool pics of this walleye. This is the biggest one I've caught in a little bit. It's really good size. We're actually up here in a catch and release area for trout, but he's not a trout. He's a walleye. He's going home with us. We're gonna cook him up later. Throw him in the live well for now. David's got, David got us all hooked up. Man, that's a good fish. That is a solid walleye. And a solid start to the trip. Let's catch some more. I, don't, I wouldn't be mad if we caught a couple more walleye. Maybe we caught a sneaky smallmouth or something, but we really need to get on the trout program. I got a fish. Woo! Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, did he eat? He didn't even eat it. He tried to eat it, it looks like. Come here, little buddy. It's okay. He tried to eat it and he failed. He just missed it. What were you thinking? It's my first trout of the day. He's a little bit illegitimate. Right? Right in the hard stuff. There you go. Little rainbow trout. We'll send him back. But I'm on the board. David's caught, I think, three rainbows. Dang, coming. Starting to come alive a little bit. I feel big ones are on the horizon. Got him! I missed him. I missed him the first cat or the first pop. I'll go back down and he wanted some more. No little small guy. He loved the D2 peaches. Say bye. Oh, beautiful. That water is chilly. I think I have myself a rhythm now. No, a trout magnet. Hooked up. Hooked up. I don't know how big this thing is. Not bad. Not bad. I think it's my biggest rainbow of the day. Woo! It's rainbow number three. Biggest one so far. There's big ones out here. There's monsters, and we're gonna we're gonna catch one. I know we are. We got David in the boat. David always catches the big ones. See you back. I don't know. I'm making a little bit of a color change. I put the white D2 jig on. So there's a bunch of seagulls up there and they all just went crazy up there below the discharge. Could mean that there was some shad that busted through there. So we're gonna try to imitate that with the white one. David just caught a couple on the white and chartreuse. I still had the peaches rigged up on my other pole, but I wanted to give this straight white a shot while those birds were going crazy. There's a fish on the end of my line or some grass. It's some, it's a fish. It felt like grass the whole time. He's not doing anything. What's up with that little guy? Oh, he's skinning bones. Look at him, he's skinny. <laughs> shad kill schmatch mill. Dang, man. You can go eat you some shad or something. Lay off the artificials, eat some real stuff. That gum. Is that a fish? 
it is a fish. It's not the fish, but it is a fish. Oh, it's a brown one too. It's a brown, it's the fish. It's not the one, but it's still. It's a one. This is a brown trout. We need him to be five times bigger. Oh snap, he got another one. No, he didn't. Why are they so skinny? I don't know. Are they dude. malnourished? Makes me sad to see them all skinny and suffering. A lot of trouts. Anything, it's like a dang washing machine. Are you done? Tell, tell me when you're done, buddy. I didn't took my I didn't took my my uh my good bait off. You can tell the trout by the way it is. Better to let them fall in the water than in the bottom of the boat. That's a fact. Oh snap, That's there it is, David. Wanted. There it is, Ursula, David. Ursula, get in here. That's the one. Let me get the net. It's resisting arrest. Come here. About time somebody did something. Good job. Fun. Good job, David. About time you caught something worthwhile. Sorry. Hey, that's what we came for. He dove on it. Nice, dude. Ooh, that's the fish we traveled all the way up here for. Well, hopefully, we get some more. And there's bigger ones. We oh, saw one jump earlier. It was like five times bigger than that, legit. Four. Four times. Four times bigger than that one. But that's typically why people come up here. And there's a lot in this river that are that size. But we know there's great potential to catch a lot more of these. So we'll get them back and we'll get back to it. I'm going the white. He's staying down. Another good one? Mm, another oh brown. gosh, another good one. I'm coming. David, you trout slayer. They're eating the white D2. Yeah, white and chartreuse. White and chartreuse. Hey, another little fatty. Let's get some more. This is fun. <laughs> Box out. That's a that's a what kind? Brown trout. So we just swapped over to uh, throwing the white and chartreuse, and the water level dropped a little bit, making it a little bit easier for us to get these jigs down towards the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and get this guy back in the water. There he is. Big one. Big one. Big one. Oh, Big one. Big baby mama. Big baby mama coming in. Big one. Smoked it on the way down. I hope it's a big brown. Staying down like one. It's a big one, David. I'm gonna be happy for you if it's bigger than the one. It's I've big. Caught. Unless it's snagged, but I don't think it is. It's a big one. I'm nervous. That was like two casts and swapped back to the white one. Oh my gosh, it's a yeah, nice it's a one. Good brown. Oh my Ooh, gosh. Baby. It's a big baby. Come on. Here you go, David. Oh baby. Stay on there. Pinned in the nose. Here it comes. Keep that head high. Here it comes, David. Oh gosh. Get over here. Get in here. Yeah. Woo! Mmm, 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 mmm. Look at that toothy critter. Oh, what a brown. That's a big one. 
Look at that hook. It's like hey, it's, show him. No, show me. It like split the difference Look at in that. his kite. Like you got him right oh, in man. his gap. We're in Brown Town now, guys. We didn't catch hardly anything up there as far as brown trout. He yeah. caught one brown trout, and now here are the last three fish have been big browns. I like it. Wow, let's go. Guys, that was so awesome. This is exactly the reason why you come to the White River to do some trout fishing. We kind of started off slow. The water level's been really weird um, this whole season, and we thought we would have more luck up there by the dam, but we really didn't catch nearly as many fish as we thought. We only caught one little brown trout, too, but we came downstream a good ways. David caught two good ones back to back, and then boom, I caught one, too. So our last three fish have been three really solid brown trout, so I think we're onto something, especially with that white D2, that white and chartreuse. But again, look at this fish, guys. He was 21 and a half inches. Get a good hold on him. He got that kite. He keeps getting down in the net. Look at that beautiful brown trout, a male, and he fought so, so good. He's probably like a three and a half ish, four pound fish. Just gorgeous. Look at all the spots. Really good color to him, but we're about to send him back on his way, and hopefully, we can catch, catch one five times bigger than this. <laughs> I got a fish. I thought I had a stick. Oh, it's another nice brown. Dang, how have we gone four for four on browns now? Just all of a sudden. Stay on there. Get him, David. <laughs> Let's go. There you go. I'm going to keep Thank fishing. You keep fishing. You keep fishing. Yeah, we don't need to do this thing where we float 500 yards downstream again. All right. Got my second brown of the day. It's a little bit smaller than the last one. Come here. Oh, 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 there you go. Spin off in the net. Oh, it's still pretty though. Look at that pretty fish. The other one was a lot bigger than this one, but we're just, this is awesome. We're finally getting into some browns. I'm not sure if it's the time of day or if it's, you know, it's being further downstream or that color change, but I don't really care. I'm just happy we're catching them now. Beautiful, beautiful brown trout. We're going ahead and send this one back and hopefully get another one. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this adjustment we made downriver. So we swapped up to throwing a white and chartreuse D2. I was throwing that peaches color, which has been my always my go-to. But the fish in this river tend to like white lures. We catch them on white trap magnets all the time. David's catches a ton on this color. So we made the swap, got a little bit further downstream, and the brown trout had been crushing it. I mean, we just caught four in a row on this thing. And so for the rest of the system, I'm throwing the ACC crappie six, the six foot six inch one piece medium. You see me throw this thing all the time for a bunch of different species. I like using it for trout. I like this size for the D2. I think David used a little bit longer of a rod, but this one works for me. I've got a five pound braid on a 1000 size spinning reel. And then we're running four pound trout magnet SOS line as leader. And it's hauling these fish. I love this line. It's really strong. I feel like I can handle any size fish that bites it. It's just a matter of them hopefully not biting through it, but we're gonna keep swinging around. I mean, we literally saw a gigantic brown trout. I'm talking like this big breach, like four foot out of the air. David's got one. And it, ah, it's a rainbow. Oh no, it's a rainbow. Come on, David. Rainbows are good too. We're talking about brown. We're caught, I mean, we saw one like this big, literally. You okay? <laughs> it's just back there jumping. Um, so we're hoping maybe hook up with a monster. I would just like the opportunity, even if we lose it, I don't even care, I just wanna hook it but we're gonna keep swinging around. The bite's definitely turned on. There we go. Yep. Coming up. Rod tip right in my face. Come on, baby. He tapped it like a little rainbow trout, but it's not, it's a brown. It's a brown. It's decent. decently medium. Ooh, little skinny girl. Look at her. Hand off. Thank you. Just welcome. I got another one. Let's go. Look at the colors on this brown trout, guys. Oh, David's got one. He's no, got a I rock. Dad gum it. He's got the earth. Look at that. Look at the red. Look at those spots. That thing is gorgeous. Look at the adipose fin. That thing is immaculate. A little skinny, but that's okay. They just got done spawning. Um, and that is awesome. I honestly thought I had a rainbow and I was just kind of just reeling, 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 reeling. And then it got tight and I was like, oh snap, that ain't no rainbow. Unless it's a big rainbow. It's Take a beautiful a brown. Thanks, David. But yeah, we're gonna send a couple pics of this thing and send her on our way and see if we can get some more. There, it's on. We found them, finally. 
I got me a trail. Oh no, we're back in the rainbows. I mean, yay. Woo! Look how fast he's spinning. He's like a figure skater. A figure skater? Yeah, you know how they spin really fast on the ice? Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Well, that's what this trout did. Look at this. We caught uh, five brown trout in a row, and then we caught two rainbows. So we're back on the rainbow train, which is fine, but we got a taste of the big trout, and it's kind of hard. You, you still get excited, but you really want to catch those big trout once you start catching them. Come on, little guy. Okay, we're gonna send this guy back into the river. Maybe we catch a big rainbow here in a little bit. We've caught some monsters here before. Peace. How much trout is that? A rainbow. Nice one. You need the net? Nope. Yours didn't spin as much as mine. It's more of the lateral motion with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to smack you. You're, well, like, you're like the Bill Dance up there. You're like the Bill Dance of trout fishing. <laughs> they are slickery little sons of guns. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm giddy with whatever. Where's that one going? Uh, that's not a rainbow, I don't think. David's got not a rainbow. Oh, it's a nice one. Hey. It's a pig. Boy, I tell you what, these fish sure do fight. You gonna be able to handle that one? I don't know. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. I think this is the biggest one. Uh, I think it's, he's got a kite, look at him. That's the biggest trout I've ever seen you catch. Is it really? I think so. That's hurtful. It's just the truth. Come here. Ooh! Fun just stuff. another beautiful White River Brown trout. I think this guy, yeah, it's a male. Toothy little critters, very hard mouths, but they are a blast. Uh, up here on the white, you cannot keep a brown unless it's 24 inches or better. So. It's a very high likelihood that this fish has been caught and released before. And he's back. That's a fish. It's another brown. Oh my gosh, he's speedy. Need a net man or you got it? I can handle it this time, I think. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh he's my gosh. Fight. He's gonna jump in the boat. I think he's a she. He's a she? Yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so speedy down here. All right, another brown trout. This fish catch was pretty crazy because I legit thought that I was snagged up on the bottom. I let my bait sink down a good ways. Um, this bottom is very mossy and rocky and we've been getting hung up a good bit when we get down by the bottom. But that's kind of what you gotta do. You gotta let your bait get down as far to the bottom as possible and rip it up. And that's when the fish bite is on whenever it falls back down most of the time. Another good brown trout, probably a little female, probably 19 and a half, 20 inches, I'm not sure. Um, but still a nice fish and again on that white and chartreuse d2 jig it's incredible how this day has turned around we spent literally i mean the first two and a half three hours catching a few little rainbows caught that walleye um but overall the bite was very slow and i think it's because the water was just raging a little oh, too much oh. <laughs> no! david, david just david just missed a, a donkey kong i think but we're gonna send this little lady back That's a rainbow. This one's for my haters. No commentary. Don't say anything. Here we go, David's hooked up. Brown trout on a trout magnet. The water's falling out, it's gotten a little slower. Not bad, let's say he's a little, got a little kipey guy. Ooh. Over the rock. Over the rock. Yeah, it's pretty. 
Come here. Come here. Come here, little baby brown. Beautiful, beautiful. Gotcha. Woo! That's fun. Good job, David. Right where you're supposed to be. That's perfect. Yeah, I've been throwing a D2 the whole time. They still work. Yeah, David swapped to the trout mag because the water got lower and um, smoked that one pretty much right away. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that thing. Get him back. Well, guys, unfortunately, our fishing trip has come to a close. But what's crazy is that the water here has probably fallen out 10 feet since the time we started today's episode. We started up there, if y'all remember, like way up there. And now we're down here. Like we would be underwater drowning if we were out here six hours ago, seven swim. hours ago. You can, I can swim too, but not in that cold water. It's real cold. Yeah. But all I have to say is that we had an awesome time. We didn't catch as many trash as we thought we were going to catch, but we still caught a bunch. What's the final to total say right there on the clicker? 66. 66. So not too bad at all, especially when you count in that we, we caught, caught probably 10 solid brown trout yeah. throughout the day. There was a little bite window that we had when the water was falling. It got to the perfect depth. We had the perfect flow and the fish they just turned on. We were a little further downstream and we caught them just boom, 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 boom. And it really made the trip. We also caught that walleye first thing. So overall, awesome trip. Oh, yeah, it's still in there. Thanks for having us out, David. David has a guide service, Sorlith Mall Guide Service. You can go book a trip with him, either out here on this river or some other rivers within the state. He's obviously a great guide. He can catch a lot of fish. And also, if you would like to check out the gear that we were using, we'll have it all linked down below in the video description from Trout Magnet. And as y'all saw, we put all of our fish in the boat today on those products. It works. Catch some big ones. Especially yeah. those D2 jigs. We love those D2 jigs. But with that, we're going to load the boat up. We're going to start making the trek back home to Central Arkansas. But if y'all enjoyed the video and you'd like to see some more trout fishing videos, be sure to let us know down in the comments section. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future fishing adventures. Thank y'all so much for watching. We'll see y'all on the next one. Bye, guys.